Okay, so we corrupted our level one bows. So this used to be a death's harp. Now it's just a rare death bow. And then we went through town to grab other death bow bases because once we vendor them five to one, it will give us back a uh, level one base that is craftable. So first we need to make these all rare. So then they vendor and give us back one rare item. And that is how to get a item level one bow, which will be useful in crafting the plus level gem bow because it removes a lot of other modifiers that you get as the base level increases. So it, it functionally works as a blocker and level one has the most mods blocked at level one. So even if it's an item level two, you will have additional modifiers. Okay, so we have our level one bow. We all we did was 30 quality it because it'd be more difficult to get it to high quality after we craft it. So 30 quality first, and then we will use a combination of fossils. There's actually quite a few combination of fossils that should on the first try hit a few plus one level of um, socketed gems. So let's plug in these uh, fossils. At least for this example, we're going to go etheric, aberrant, metallic, and then the most important, faceted, and then we should hit quite a few plus one level because of the low item level and the blocking of the other fossils. And here we go. So it looks like we hit three. Um, I'm not sure how many attempts on average, but at least from Craft of Exile, we should at least hit two of these modifiers on the first try. And maybe you can consistently hit all three, but I think on the first try you should hit at least two because there are so few modifiers and the blocking of the fossils causes this. So you can consistently craft the plus one, at least two of these um, on the bow. And checking with Craft of Exile, it does take on average, I think, two uh, attempts to hit all three, but it should only take one attempt to hit at least two of the three modifiers uh, on the death bow, or at least a level one bow base. So that's how you would consistently do it. And then you would just craft plus two support, I believe that has room for it. So yeah, plus two support can be crafted onto this bow. And I believe only two of the three is really necessary. So I think on average, it should take you only one attempt to hit at least two of the three and hopefully the ones that you want 